This brings us to our final lap, manipulating objects. As usual, I'll be doing a walkthrough in just a moment, but for those of you who want to try it without the walkthrough, go ahead and hit pause right here. Hello folks and welcome to the walkthrough of our lab, manipulating objects. In this lab, we're going to copy, list, and delete some objects that we have already uploaded in Min.io. For those of you who have had to stop and start for a little bit, keep in mind you should be able to get your Min.io environment up and running with a simple Docker Start Min.io. We're going to start playing around with some objects. So our first step is going to be copying our starter file to a new file called objects.py. Inside the objects.py, we're going to have some basic imports, but what we're going to do first is we're going to do a little stat of our open sky stream JSON object. Very simply, we're going to do a result equals client stat object. And recall that the stat object method takes two things, a bucket name and an object name. Our bucket name, as usual, is dev. And our object name is open sky stream dot JSON. That result can be printed using the lab f r print method. And with that, we're going to go ahead and save and run our code with Python 3. And there you go. Open sky stream JSON, last modified, is right there for us. In the lesson, we also talked about using prefixes to separate our data. So we're going to copy the object open sky stream JSON to a new location with a prefix. In order to do this, we're going to use that copy source import that we had before. Our result is going to be an object write result. We're going to use client copy object. And to copy our object, we need our bucket and we need our destination object name. In this case, we will use source as our destination prefix and our target name is going to be open sky stream dot JSON. Now that's the same name as what we're going to use in our copy source, which is right here. And copy source is dev and Again, we need the source object. In this case, it's just open sky stream dot JSON because we didn't have any prefix when we originally wrote this. That's the whole method. And of course, what we're going to do is we're going to print this and we're good to go. Now, when we run this, we see both our original open sky stream last modified and notice we also now have a source open sky stream that was last modified just a little bit later. The point about this is that these are two distinct and separate objects. Let's take a look in our MinIO console to see that we've actually created this. So if we refresh our list here in our dev bucket, notice that we now have a source directory or prefix that has our open sky stream JSON file. It is an application JSON because we didn't make any changes along those lines. But just real quick, if we take a look at the open sky stream JSON file and we take a look at the e tag, notice 9f1de ends with 0b7f. And if we take a look at this one, 9f1de ends with 0b7f. So the E tags are identical, even though these two objects are actually distinct. The nice thing about this is that that allows us to compare these two objects using E tags, and we will see that they are the exact same. What we may want to do now, though, is delete this original. So let's go back to the terminal. And back in our terminal, we're going to edit our objects py one more time to include a delete process. Now recall when we delete something 
there is no return type. So we're just going to do this remove object and we're going to give it our bucket name of dev and our original object name which was open sky stream.json. Let's run this one more time. Notice we copied, we got a stat on our original object, we copied our object and the way we're going to check and see if this is gone is we're going to go back out to our MinIO console. We're going to refresh our dev bucket. And notice we have our open sky 0 through 9 and our open sky upload, but our open sky source or is now here, open sky stream. The original is now gone. Of course, this means we're not going to be able to rerun this, but I have given you back in our terminal this restore stream.py and all that does is it goes out and pulls a new copy down for you so you can recreate that open sky stream file if you want to rerun this a few more times just keep in mind that there's still no concept of a move we had to copy and then delete what we're going to do next is we're going to delete an entire prefix so we're going to just copy our starter file again To a new file called del prefix.py. Let's clear this out. Now, recall that deleting a whole prefix is going to take a little extra work because prefixes are only automatically deleted once they're empty. So let's edit this del prefix and we'll start adding some code. The first thing we need to do is get a list of the objects that we want to delete. Our bucket name is dev. Our prefix is source. And we want to do a recursive true. Okay. We're going to make sure that we can see all of the objects we're about to delete. So we're going to do a for object in objects labf rprint object. Each of those objects will have a name and a modified date, so we'll be able to see everything we want to see. Let's just make sure this works. We'll save and run it. And there we go. There's only one file under that source prefix, and that's our open sky stream. So we know that works. So the next thing we're going to do is we're going to delete all of these. And we do this with a map. I'm going to go ahead and do that lambda function. There's other ways that you can do this, but this is a really quick way to create a bunch of delete objects. And again, we're doing the list objects to get our list of objects. Now we'll run the delete. And we'll do a labf eprint errors, if there are any. So we're creating a delete object list using a map. Inside of that map, we're doing a lambda function. You can also think of this as a here function, something along those lines that you may have seen in a shell script. But all we're really doing is we're taking a list, which is what the lambda function does. It takes a list of whatever and then runs a particular constructor, in this case our delete object. It can be any other method that we want as well. But we're really just getting a series of these delete objects using this list object tool. Like so. That closes up the map. That's what I missed. One more time. There we go. So our source open sky stream JSON. That was our output from our list object before. And then it ran the delete. How do we make sure it deleted? Let's go out to our console. Let's refresh our dev bucket. And notice, now there is no longer a source prefix because it was empty. There is an optional item in this, create some new code
to move the streamed objects that we created, that is 0 through 9, in a loop to a new prefix named raw, and then we can delete the originals after we have copied them. I'm going to go ahead and do that for you. We're going to copy the starter file into a new file called move streams py. Okay. So what we want to do is move each object and delete. And this is very simple. Uh, we can just do this as a simple loop that we want to do. While i less than 10, what we're going to do first, of course, is we're going to copy the object with a client copy object where we give it our new target bucket our new target name, which is going to be raw open sky dash plus str i plus dot json. And our source is going to be copy source dev is the bucket again. And again, open sky dash plus stri plus dot json. Okay. So that's our source for each item. Next we're going to do a labf rprint result. Okay. And while we're here, we may as well just delete it. The original that is. Client remove object from our original bucket which is dev and now we want open sky dash plus str plus dot json and that's going to delete the original for us okay. and that's functionally everything we need to do very basic code. You might want to include some additional code, like maybe uh, ensure that you have an object name in your result before you delete the original. But let's go ahead and run this code. Oh, got a little error. Those of you playing along at home already figured it out. Remember, if you don't increment your i, your loop lasts forever. Nobody wants that. i plus equal one. I'm gonna have to change this because I already moved my first one so now I've got to redo this. There we go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Done. If I go out to my console, I refresh. Everything is now in the raw directory. And that's everything. Okay. Aside from that little error that we saw, a little live fix of our issue, that is everything you need to know to do a move. So in this lab, we copied, we removed some objects from a min.io bucket using prefixes to separate out our data now. And we also gathered some information about an object and listed all of our objects in a prefix. And that is our last lab. I hope you enjoyed everything in this course and that you'll come back and take the next one.